Get ready for this edition of the Badger Beat as the Spring Hill Badgers get ready for the silence of the Rams. A new club on campus has Badgers hitting the gym. Watch as we get personal with an RA who learned the hard way he should always knock before entering. Are you looking for a news source that caters to you? A place to go to find the who, what, when, and where of Spring Hill. Do you want to know what's happening at your school, in your community, and in your world? A place to get what you want to know, but also what you need to know. It's time for you. It's time for Spring Hill. It's time for the Badger Beat. In a week of events, the Spring Hill College Badgers prepare to face off with its biggest rival, the University of Mobile Rams. The college kicked the week off with a blood battle. No, not a serious blood war. The two schools went head to head with a blood drive to see who could get the most donations. And a lot of people are afraid of coming out and donating, so uh, please get past that because every donation saves three lives. Jonathan Seely says he's excited about the rest of the week's events, like Ta Kappa Epsilon's laser tag event. It's going to be a great event as Teak's putting on their laser tag, which last year won event of the year. The week's events may be fun. They all lead up to Saturday when the Badgers and the Rams meet again. Mobile, last night, last Mobile game, I thought we had a really good first half. Um, second half, um, kind of started fading a little bit like that, but um, definitely a beautiful team. I think we'll end up beating them. Saturday is going to be our biggest event of the whole week with the tailgate and game. Uh, uh, I'm pretty excited. You know, it's my last one, you know. So hopefully we'll win. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I, I think our team's prepared, and I think we're uh, ready to get this win. You know, um, I'm excited. You know, we lost to them at their place, and I feel like we got, you know, we got a chance. We, got, we, we, owe, them, we owe them a work, basically. Here outside of the Outlaw Rec Center, the Mobile Rams and the Spring Hill College Badgers will battle it out for title of Badger Brawl. In the men's halftime, we'll be giving away a free iPad, uh, Xbox 360 Connect, and a movie gift package. For the rest of the week, the Badgers are looking forward to a pep rally and concert on Friday, followed by tailgating and the big game on Saturday. Spring of basketball, and you're watching the Badger Beat. Reporting for the Badger Beat, this is Jasmine Williams. A group of Badgers have been putting in overtime at the rec. That's because they're trying to lose some weight and gain the title of Badger Fit Champion. Angel Gray is the coordinator of the Badger Fit Challenge. She says 54 students and faculty members are competing to be the semester's biggest loser, of weight that is. Um, through coming to fitness classes or working out on your own in the rec center, um, we're basically monitoring your weight loss month by month. At the monthly weigh-ins, Gray records the participants' body fat, weight, and waist and hip circumference. The top three get a special prize. Senior John Merrill says the competition is good, but the way he feels is even better. Um, it's just been really, really helpful, and uh, it's been motivation to get into the gym more often, so that's, that's always nice. Thea George hopes to join the police force after graduation. She says this challenge will help her to be in tip-top shape for the physical test. In any activity, it's more of, oh, hey, yeah, let me go do this. It's not a big deal, as opposed to, oh my gosh, that takes so much energy. Marilyn and George have been taking the challenge together and are seeing the results. I've decreased my entire body fat, which is really awesome. So um, I've sort of set a goal to keep that same rate going. Um, and we've increased the distances that we've been running, so that's always nice. And so it's, it's all about small goals, and, and the little point system sort of helps do that. It's not too late to jump on board, but it is too late to win an award. To get involved, just contact Angel Gray. Reporting for the Badger Beat, I'm Paige Malone. Hey 
guys, let's take a look at what's coming up this week in the Hillian. In this Badger Brawl themed issue, look out for news on events like the blood drive and laser tag. Guys, watch out. They've put man sense to the test. Want to know what can attract more ladies? Old Spice or Axe? Read up and find out. The Hillians finally have a Twitter. Now they can tell us who's cool to follow, including Conan, the Kardashians, and even Lord Voldemort. You're not going to want to miss tomorrow's edition. Be sure to pick one up. See you next week. Here at the Badger Beat, we believe everyone has a story. Meet Grant Benoit. A Gulf Coast native, Grant looked close to home when looking for colleges. When I was looking for colleges, I decided, well, first of all, that I wanted to get out of Mississippi as fast as I could. As a junior, Benoit is extremely involved on campus, being president of the Student Art League, singing in the school choir, and even being an RA. I think it's interesting more so than anything. You, uh, you meet a lot of interesting encounters on your duties. And Although Benoit's witnessed quite a few things in his career as RA, one incident sticks out. Walked into a pod in Skips and encountered um, a couple just sitting completely butt naked on the chair. So that was interesting. I was just walking in, I looked around, didn't see anybody, and then I saw them and then looked down. I was like, oh, this is really awkward. In his off time, Grant is usually stationed in the art building, focusing on his creations. Benoit says there's a million reasons to love art. I just like all the possibilities. My, my mind's always running over with ideas and stuff and just being able to create, you know, something out of this square of rubber, you know, it's just kind of, as a cool idea. After graduation, Benoit plans to share his artistic passion with others. I'm applying for graduate programs um, to get my master's so I can go on to hopefully teach college. Uh, that's the game plan that I have. So from singing to his artistic talent to laying down the law on a Saturday night, Benoit is not the guy to mess with. To be our next Spring Hill story, tweet us here at the Badger Beat. I'm Emily Landrieu.